Okay, so uh, in this lesson, we're going to take some of the things that we've learned about so far, and we're going to make an image gallery. And uh, as you hopefully can see, I have set you up with some default code. So I was realizing I thought that I was giving you a lot of this stuff, but it seems like you had to retype a lot of the code. So I'm trying to make it easier here. So what I've done is I've put in a bunch of images, um, each under their own div class. And you can see it's div class and the, the uh, actual title is image of the class. And that can be a little confusing because uh, you can obviously say that an image has its own properties. But this is div class image. And then um, we have a class called description. And we have that over and over again. So all of these are going to be treated the same. And so let's take a look at what that looks like, rather. Uh, hold on. Let's take a look at what that looks like without um, any style tags. Okay, we have the tags, but we don't have any rules or declarations with those. So this is what it looks like. Image, description, and then it just keeps, um, you know, because remember, divs uh, default to block. The div tag defaults to block. They're all um, dropping here. So what we want to do is we want to create a, uh, a image gallery style um, our assignment is to change it into an interactive image gallery that creates and has a border that appears when the user hovers over it. So we're going to um, use our float tag. Uh, we're going to create a, a margin, um, a border, and we're going to have that be interactive using our hover tag. Okay, so let's go into our edit. And the first thing we want to do is we want to create a div image and we want to just create some some standard type uh, defaults here. We'll do padding equals five pixels. Um, we'll do a border one pixel solid. Let's say black. Um, we'll do auto height, auto width, and we'll do a float left. Okay, and text align center. So let's see what happens here. Okay, good, good start. Um, so now what we want <clears throat> now what we want to do is have the images display in line. Um, so an image within the div image, this is our grouping concept. So we're gonna have div image image. Okay, so these are images within the div. We're going to say display inline. We'll do a margin of five pixels and we'll do the same border one pixel solid black. Okay, so all we really did here is created a border around the image itself. The last thing that I want to do is I want to change the width of this to 150 pixels so it has a little bit more um, that we're deciding how big we want this to be. Okay, so we have our um, interactive border. Uh, my images don't just go on top of each other. They uh, do an inline float uh, or they do a float. Um, and you can see that this is a little bit more of what we are uh, looking for in terms of the uh, interactivity.